Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about the aggressive and territorial behavior in animals. This is an ethology lecture and if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So aggressiveness and territorial activity refer to how an animal or a group of animals defends their territory from intruders of the same species. Suppose a pack of dogs reside in this area. Suddenly a new dog tries to join them. We have all seen how they react, right? It's their area. They will not allow any new member from outside. It doesn't happen only in dogs. It is common for all animals. So how they react to protect their territory, we will see. Purpose. To ensure access to necessary resources and prevent overcrowding within a population. Uh, so, why they want to protect? First of all, they don't want to share their food with newcomers. Second, they don't want overcrowding. Now, we will see what they do to protect their territory. Okay. Display behaviors. Animals use visual displays like bright coloration, Scent markings such as urine, pheromones, vocalizations such as bark songs, howls, physical gestures to communicate their territorial claim before engaging in direct conflict. Uh, so before starting direct fight, they always want to make their enemies scared so that they can easily leave the place. Very bright color of their skin. Uh, the smell of urine and hormones known as pheromones, their uh, sound and uh, their body language are few examples. Now, escalation of aggression. If the initial displays are not enough to deter intruders, physical aggression may occur including chasing, biting or fighting. So, if the enemy doesn't escape, they start chasing, biting or fighting to repel it. For example, male birds often seem to defend their territory and attract mates, sometimes engaging in aerial chases to ward off rivals. So, male birds seem for two purposes, to protect their territory and to attract mates. If the tactics doesn't help, they start chasing. Wolves mark their territory with urine and vocalizations like howling. Domesticated dogs may display territorial aggression towards strangers entering their territory. So we all have seen how dogs become aggressive seeing a new member. Some primates like chimpanzees defend their territory through displays of aggression against neighboring groups. Certain fish species establish territories around their nests and use aggressive displays to protect their eggs from other males. Some insects like ants aggressively defend their colony against other ant colonies. So there are a few factors influence territorial behavior. First is resource availability. Areas with scarce food or limited nesting sites are more likely to trigger territorial behavior. So this is most obvious, right? If they don't have enough food or shelter, they will become more aggressive seeing a newcomer. During breeding season, territoriality often intensifies during mating seasons when competition for mates is high. Individual characteristics. Some animals are naturally more aggressive or dominant leading to stronger territorial displays. 
so this is all about today's lecture i hope you liked the lecture thank you for watching my video